An organization in Northeast Kansas is working hard to working hard once a month to challenge a consistently growing problem, cat colonies. 13's Brent Palmer attended one of their clinics and learned why this group of volunteers is taking time to improve their community. Brent. Yes, Victoria. Positively is an organization focused on finding, neutering, spaying, vaccinating, and releasing cats in and around Jefferson County. They have already made a difference in this community, fixing almost 2,000 cats in the past two or three years, all thanks to their clinic. This is our monthly clinic. We do once a month. We do up to roughly 40 cats per month um, at this clinic. The Positively Jefferson County Clinic begins with finding feral cats from local colonies. And beforehand, um, we're taking care of them with their food and cleaning their cages and monitoring, um, you know, documenting any concerns. If there's any wounds that that K-State needs to check. Cats are then given anesthesia before going on an assembly line where they are vaccinated, cleaned, and prepped for surgery. Vet students from Kansas State University fix the cats. This rotation we do the surgeries all by our own and this hands-on experience I think is very important for our future. Like to, I feel much more comfortable after this surgery to do, after this rotation to do surgeries when I graduate. Lastly, the cats have their ears cleaned before being released the next day. All this is made possible with the help of the clinic's volunteers. Our volunteers are our backbone. Um, without them, we wouldn't be here. They're fantastic. They've all stepped up. Everybody comes together. We complement each other very well. Not only does the effort work to decrease feral cat populations, but also improves their overall quality of life. The cat no longer has to go through that mating season. The males no longer have to fight. The, the neutering of the males helps the fighting, the territorial roaming, all of those things. It gives them a healthier life. Positively will also host a bingo night at Crooked Post Winery next Thursday. If you're interested in attending the event or volunteering with the organization, we will have links on WIBW.com. All right, Brent, helping out our furry friends. Thanks so much.